I'd like to cover the common balance activities that you can perform using the rehab station. Um, we're going to start with what we call level one balance activities, which are really balance activities that involve just staying in a static position, assuming good alignment, and maintaining that posture and your balance under different environmental conditions um, as well as different positions of the feet. So commonly what we'll do is first of all, just go ahead and look, let's look at your posture here and see how well you're standing. So right now that looks like you're doing a pretty good job and not having any real challenges to your balance. So let's do this. So let's first of all start by changing your base of support. So the first thing we're gonna do is work on base of support. So go ahead and bring your feet together for me so that you can, there you go. Excellent, now go ahead and let go with your hands and let's see how that looks. So a little more challenging. So we can see a little more sway going on there. So this may be an appropriate level for her just to work on just trying to stand with those feet together. But since we wanna challenge even a little bit more, so go ahead and you can hold on and go ahead and place one foot slightly in front of the other. There you go. Let's go back, uh, just place this partly to start with. So that's what we call a semi-tandem stance. So now go ahead and let go and see how you do in that position. Not too bad, okay. So now let's go ahead to the position you were trying to go into, which is a full tandem stance. So one foot directly in front of the other and go ahead and let your arms go without touching. So good, so that's very challenging for her, um, but she can at least attempt to perform this. So we, wouldn't, this, we could spend some time working on this position with your feet and we could alternate and go with the other foot in front of the other, uh, the other position. So having your left foot forward, but, but that's okay. We don't need to do that now. Um, good, it almost looked a little easier. So um, the other thing we can do is the last and most challenging basis support position is standing on one leg. So I'll let you hold on for a moment and then try to lift one leg and then let go and keep that position. So great, so just to provides a good safe environment. I can even step away if I need to. I could be documenting um, when I need to as far as your performance on this while you're doing this. So good, so it provides a nice safe environment. Um, so that's base of support. The other thing we can now play with is visual input. Okay, so visual input is you're just gonna have you go ahead and let's put your feet together for me like this, because that was a little challenging. Arms at your side, now close your eyes and keep your balance. Okay, so now we're taking visual cues out of it, so we're altering our sensory integration here. So good, that's a nice challenge. I can see you working at it. I can see those toes working. Okay, good. So that's visual information that we can alter, just eyes open and eyes closed. The other thing we can alter in this static position and just static stance is vestibular challenge. So go ahead and separate your feet just a little bit for me. Good. And that's gonna be induced with head movement. So go ahead and we're gonna first of all start turning your head side to side slowly with your eyes open. Good. And now speed that up a little bit for me, that head movement. Good. Just the head. So again, we're inducing some challenge to the vestibular system with the rapid head movement. And now go ahead and stop. And I want you to go ahead and I want you to look up and down for me with your head, up and down. Good, and then as quickly as you can. Excellent, good. All right, so now that is, she's doing pretty, pretty well with the vestibular challenge. So what we're gonna do is actually do a combination of a few things. So we have, let's narrow your base of support. Let's bring your feet together. Good, now let's close your eyes. And now let's turn your head side to side. So good, excellent. So this was a nice challenge for her to try to work on her balance, combining the different aspects of this. One last thing we can alter as well is not only base of support, but the support surface she's standing on. So if we have to, we can add something like a piece of foam. So we're gonna go ahead and place this down below and you can step up onto that. Good. When we do that, if we have to, we can take up a little slack in these lines here just to take up some of that, okay? And now we've altered our proprioceptive input. So that's the final area that we can alter. So proprioceptive information by using a balance pad like this, foam or a rocker board.